Hi guys and welcome back. So this is just a small announcement that I'm going to start rereading House of Leaves. I've mentioned this goal in my reading goals video for this year and in February I wanted to start rereading uh, this book and uh, this is the first time that I'm going to reread it uh, and last time I was reading it in 2020 it was one of my favorite books of 2020 and it took me a month uh, to get through it so I think this time it will also be somewhere around a month um, because it's quite a difficult book to get through and also right now I have less time to read so maybe it will take me longer but we will see if you want to join me, you can, we can read it together. Leave a comment down below and we can discuss the book uh, in the comments. And when I'm finished with this book, I'm going to make an in-depth review video. So the first time that I was reading it, I made some notes. I highlighted some things or at least put a post-it uh, there. Um, this time I'm going to highlight things again. But this time I'm going to use different color, which is uh, the purple one. So purple will be my rereading color and i will go in and highlight things that i have missed the first time which is i think a lot <laughs> so yeah today is the first of february and i'm going to read this book by martin yevsky um but also by zampano with the introduction of johnny trent and if you have read this book before you know what i'm talking about who these characters are and the most i think famous page of this book is uh this one which says this is not for you already very inviting to read further um yeah so i'm going to start and if you want you can start with me uh some tips for reading this book uh because it's my second time i already know how i'm going to start and um yeah how i'm going to read it but uh, one tip try to follow the book and it's uh advice so at first it's very simple you have just a, like the introduction a lot of text but then you have this um footnotes try to read the footnotes very important and even when it's the footnote is very long still it's important to read it at the time that it's mentioned in the text and also uh, try to read the back side uh, with all of the additional uh, explanation and footnotes and um, letters so uh, that's I think it's important to follow the book in it. Then the story will be more understandable, I think. And also the first hundred pages are a little bit weird and also slow. And you really need to get past at least hundred pages to start understanding what you're reading and also uh, to enjoy it more. And then uh, the pace will be picked up very quick and then it will be very suspenseful. But the first hundred pages are a little bit strange and just very slow so yeah i'm hoping that more people will read together with me and uh, i'm just going to start reading it right now thank you for watching and i will see you next time goodbye